to the channel next racing stay tuned we're next all right so i'm just going to give you guys a little update on what's going on i got these ign 1a coils hooked up to the bracket here which is on the valve cover i don't have it bolted down but i just have it there for mock-up that is the valve cover that i'm going to be using it still needs to be powder coated but you know we'll get there eventually i uh, bought some wires here because i have to get these wired up i got the terminated harness here with the leading ignition uh, wires here these I'm gonna have to split the red one um, into four and I'm gonna have to split this black one into four each of them are gonna go into, into their perspective slots in each of the coils I also have to do wiring from each of the coils to the head uh, these are gonna be grounded to the head I need to figure out exactly where for right now the best spot is looking like the old oil port, uh, turbo oil port right here. That's looking like that's gonna be the best spot for it. Um, I got some other stuff that I'm gonna be doing, but just for a little mini update, that's what's going on. I'm gonna get these wired up. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna wire them, all of them to a plug that's gonna go close to the firewall or into the firewall. And then from there, I'm gonna do another plug from these wires. So that way they'll just plug into each other. That way if I have to disconnect it or do anything else, I can just disconnect it from that plug. That way I don't run the wiring straight from these coils straight to this harness um, inside the, the cabin. That way probably on the firewall, I'll do a, like a plug. That way one side will plug in, the other side will plug in, and that way we can get those plugged in like that. I feel like it's a lot easier, that's less of a mess. The wiring is going to be a lot cleaner so that's what we're doing so i'll give you guys a little update uh once i start wiring them so you guys can see exactly how it's going to look and what uh we have planned for it yeah. all right so i want to give you guys a little update on what's going on i know earlier we were talking about wiring the ign 1a coils so i'm going to go ahead and get this turned around to give you guys a little update on what's going on with it so i got a little mess here on the table so forgive me with the mess but just getting it down packed Right now what I'm doing is, is I am taking the two ground wires that need to go to the cylinder head. I am checking the length of the ground wire, which is going to go up here to the front right here to this little spot right here. I have this bolt holding these uh, wire connectors here, which the wires are going to go to. I already got the first uh, cylinder one and cylinder two done. As you can see here, let me go ahead and pull this out. Um, this all it's all wired. I just got to get it connected obviously the ones to the ECU connect to the ECU the ones that are ground to the ground um, But let's see if we can get this to uh, Focus here. If not, you can see I have all of them labeled Save you a headache Let you know which wires to what But that's what we got so far. I've got two more to go cylinder three cylinder four once those are done, then I'll go ahead and get them wrapped up in the the wrap that I bought here. Let's see, I got it right here. The wrap that I bought, I'm going to get them wrapped up, make it look all nice and pretty, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so a little update. I'm not done yet, but I'm pretty close to being done. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see exactly what I did. As you can see here, I have all the, the wires labeled. All the wires are labeled. I have them coming out right here. I've got the ground wires that are right here. These ground wires are going to connect right here to this spot right here. And then the rest of these wires, I got to finish the rest of these wires. I ran out of wire loom to cover them. So um, I got some on order right now. Once that comes in, I'll go ahead and get these finished up. Obviously, I can't put the connectors on the end because then I can't put the wire loom on it. So once that wire loom comes in, I'll go ahead and get this finished up here. Shouldn't take too long. I already have the connectors for it. So once the wire loom comes in, put that on, put the connectors on the end, and that's it. It's all set and done. And then these are good to go. Connect it to the hall tech, connect the ground where the ground needs to be here, and the ignition is good to go. Any questions, comments, concerns on how I did it, please leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, you get entered to win a 20, not 20, $50 gift card to either Harbor Freight, Advance, AutoZone, Riley, Pep Boys, or $50 PayPal Cash. So go ahead and subscribe to the video. I'll be posting more videos on the build coming soon. I've got some parts in the mail. Once those come in, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little preview of what's going on. All right, remember, stay tuned. We're next, next racing.